with us, which is why we gave her the most patient um, <laughs> of um, superlatives. But also, I wanted to explain um, the word pangyo to you um, in more detail. So these two um, radicals, we call them, are for pang, are both moons. And so I just wanted to give the image of there are two moons, and they are both um, lights in the darkness. And there's not just one, but there's two. And so I felt like, um, as being our, our coach and our friend, that you were our light in the darkness with us as we tried to like navigate this sort of, what is our region? What is our group? What are we doing? And you were so patient with us through that. And so I just wanted to highlight that part of friendship, that we're both moons in the darkness. And we stand, to, we stand together in that, in our friendship. So that's what I wanted to say. Uh, in addition, I want to add that when we struggled as a group, I really appreciate your questions. They really helped me, I, and they were tough and they were hard, and I felt really struggle, but your questions really helped challenge me and challenge my way of thinking to expand that and see it in a lot of different perspectives. Anyway, we're all sharing a little bit about what you being a punk means to us. And you were more than just a friend, you were sort of a motherly figure because, you know, I was able to open up and share something really vulnerable with you, and you created a safe, accepting space for that. And I also, you were very patient with us. When I had my rebellious teenage moment, we pushed back when you pushed us. <laughs> um, and you didn't hate me afterwards, so thank you. Thank you for your motherly understanding. <laughs> well, going after a group of people, I feel how you feel. Don't ask. People take all the stuff you're going to say. So, But you really were like, Tom, we had that moment where we all just were like, let's take breath. Let's just come back. And it was just really awesome because you were first and foremost trying to push us, which is not an easy thing to do a lot of times because, you know, especially with people that are, you know, two and a half days, we don't really get it. <laughs> we're, we're like all exhausted. How am I sorted now? I was just like, this is not going to be good. I'm like tapping out right now. And you guys, all, everybody was just like, it's going to go well. And it, it kind of did. <laughs> Thank you for not only encouraging us, but also pushing really, really hard so that we got the most out of our time together. Yeah, uh, I definitely agree uh, with what we, um, our conclusion earlier, that we had a perpetual zoom in, zoom out problem. Maybe some other groups have had experienced that. And I think that it was pretty uh, incredible how you kind of tried to change the lens, kind of a fixed zoom lens, you know as much as you could considering you know this disorienting massive project that we're trying to undertake. So thank you so much. And, um, I think that like we can all agree that this was a challenging process, but it was a beautiful one. And in particular our amazing coach was always so positive, right? Like it didn't matter if we came back from lunch, we, we kinda were in a food coma, we're a little tired. <laughs> you know, she was always very energetic and you know, willing to pump in the, the positivity to make it a really great experience. So thank you.